Hello everyone, I am Yu Fei Liu from the Neuroplasticity and Development Lab in Johns Hopkins University. I presented the poster, Computer Code Comprehension Shares Neural Resources with Formal Logic and Math. This work is directed by Dr. Marina Bentley and in collaboration with Dr. Colin Wilson. Okay, programming. Programming is so important to modern society, but how our brains do it is still largely unknown. In this study, as the title suggests, we focused on the neural basis of code comprehension. Programming is a very recent cultural invention. We shouldn't expect our brains to evolve some thing for this purpose. Then what should the neural basis of code comprehension be like? Here are several possibilities. First of all, idiosyncrasy. Perhaps each programmer uses a different neural circuit to understand codes. Second, neuronal recycling. Code comprehension could latch on to some existing network evolved for other purposes, such as language. Another possibility is that code comprehension is a cognitively demanding task that relies on the domain general executive control system to carry out. Lastly, code comprehension could share neural resources with other culturally derived symbol manipulation systems, such as symbolic math or formal logic. To find out which hypothesis is correct, we recruited 15 programmers with at least three years of experience in the programming language Python. They underwent fMRI scans while performing tasks to probe code comprehension, language, math, logic, and executive control. The code comprehension task consists of real code trials and fake code trials. In a real code trial, participants first saw a short Python function which took a character string as input and churned out some kind of output. Here's an example. If you input dog to this function, the output is a list containing four items, input, equal sign d, equal sign o, equal sign g, and so on. The participants had to understand what the function does to any generic input, and then answer whether a proposed output is the correct output of the function with regard to a specific input. In a fake code trial, participants saw a fake code function, which was a real function scrambled at the level of words and symbols. Here's an example. Participants were required to memorize this fake function and answer whether a single line of fake code came from this fake function. Here's the fMRI result across participants. Code comprehension consistently activated a left lateralized frontal parietal network. Because of this consistency, we can rule out the possibility of idiosyncrasy. We would like to know whether this activation pattern actually encoded information related to the functions the participants were reading, or whether this network was simply activated by code reading behavior. Particularly, we want to know whether we can use the spatial activation pattern in this network to decode two types of real functions, functions that contain a for loop and functions that contain an if conditional. Examples are shown here. We carry out a multivariate pattern analysis, or MVPA, in four regions of interest, or ROIs, in the left hemisphere. In the ROIs on the lateral surface, the decoding accuracy exceeded 60%, but in the primary visual cortex, the accuracy was barely greater than chance, which is 50%. This result suggested that the difference between types of functions were encoded in the frontal parietal network, and this difference was more than just a difference in the low-level visual properties. Now let's return to our main question. Does code comprehension share neural resources with language, math, logic, or executive control? We asked the same participants to perform several other tasks to localize the canonical neural mechanisms for the four cognitive activities of interest. In a language task, participants reported whether a passive sentence had the same meaning as an active sentence. In a math task, participants reported whether the unknown variable x had the same value in two equations. In a logic task, participants reported whether the truthfulness of one logical statement 
entailed the truthfulness of another statement. To probe the executive control system, the participants did the multi-source interference task, or MSIT. In this task, an incongruence exists between the value of a digit and its position in a digit triplet, and the incongruence required executive control to resolve. I'm going to show you the fMRI result of the four tasks, but here's first a recap for code comprehension. And then here's the result for language. Both warm and cold colors represent activation in this task, but the cold color means the overlap between this task and code comprehension. Okay, so here's the result for math, for logic, and for executive control. Apparently, code comprehension overlapped the most with logic, and we can quantify this overlap using cosine similarity. Each dot in this graph stands for one participant. And the empirical upper bound is the overlap between half of the data for code comprehension and the other half. And the empirical lower bound is the overlap between each task with the scrambled activation map for code comprehension. So each overlap was well above chance, but the overlap between code and logic was significantly higher than others. Math come in the second place, but it's still far lower than logic. The neural basis of code comprehension and language comprehension didn't overlap, but there's an interesting observation. Both of them are highly left lateralized. Look at this graph. Each dot, again, stands for a participant, and the big dots stand for the mean values. Math, logic, and executive control are roughly bilateral, but code and language are left lateralized. What's more, their lateralization indexes were highly correlated. Look at this graph. This phenomenon wasn't observed for math, logic, and executive control. What could this mean? Well, it's very likely that code comprehension shared neural resources with culturally derived symbol manipulation systems, mainly formal logic and perhaps symbolic math to a lesser extent. As for language, it's possible that language ability exerts some indirect influence on code comprehension. We suspect that a mature language system is the prerequisite to adapt the simple manipulation system to support code comprehension. But this hypothesis, of course, requires future research to confirm. Thank you.